Audemars Piguet make some of the highest quality timepieces on Earth. Are you looking for a new Audemars Piguet watch? Here are the top 10 Audemars Piguet watches that you could try to purchase. Number 10. Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar Openworked. Gerald Genta created Royal Oak for Audemars Piguet in 1971, and since its debut, it has continuously suggested modifications and integrated complications while maintaining its instantly identifiable lines. This new perpetual calendar openwork still has an octagonal bezel, but the petite tapisserie checkerboard pattern is completely absent from the dial. Its openwork structure provides us with an amazing composition. The 2017 perpetual calendar, which was introduced in black ceramic, is replicated in this model. Its strap and folding clasp, as well as its 41mm diameter, 9.9mm thin case, encourage us to enjoy its fine brushed black hue made possible by the yttria oxide substance. A scenario offering a play on light and shadows brings time data to life. The day, date, and month are also displayed in distinctive rose gold and circled smoked glass counters located at 9, 3, and 12 o'clock, in addition to the hours and minutes indicated by their respective hands. This priceless metal guarantees flawless readability. A weak scale embellishing the flange is pointed out by a thin middle hand. Moon phases and leap years round out all of this information. Driven by the 5135 caliber, the ensemble, 40 hour power reserve. The bold elegance of the Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar Openwork is highlighted by a number of this self-winding movements components which are beautiful on both sides of the watch. Number 9. Code 11.59 Tourbillon Openworked. The new Code 11.59 by Audemars Piguet Tourbillon Openworked, limited to 50 pieces, features a modern two-tone casing that combines blue ceramic with 18 karat white gold. This contrast of colors and materials highlights the watch's complex architecture. The manufacturer's most recent hand-wound Tourbillon Openworked movement Caliber 2948, which demonstrates the careful craftsmanship of the Labras Sous workers, powers the highly stylized timepiece. The blue openwork bridges and main plate, which are visible on both sides of the watch and match the color of the case middle, disclose the internal regulating organ and enhance the 3D appearance of the timepiece. The design is completed by a blue rubber-coated strap with a textured finish. Number 8. Royal Oak Self-Winding Flying Tourbillon The first ever Royal Oak watch from Audemars Piguet to have a flying tourbillon was unveiled. The flying tourbillon is cantilevered, in other words, is only secured to the plate on one side, thus it offers an unhindered view of the mechanism on the other side, as opposed to being supported by a bridge on the dial side and a bridge on the movement side. Three different versions of the new Royal Oak Self-Winding Flying Tourbillon are offered, rose gold, titanium, and steel. The titanium model is arguably the most intriguing, particularly for its grey opaline dial that does not feature the customary tapestry design. The dial is enhanced with white gold applied hour markers and royal oak hands with luminous coating. It is covered by a glare-proof sapphire crystal. Matched to a titanium bracelet with AP folding clasp, the new Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Self-Winding Flying Tourbillon Ref. 26530Ti has the same price with the steel version, REF. 26530ST, while the gold version, REF. 26530OR, is more expensive. Number 7. Royal Oak Frosted Gold Self-Winding. When applied to white gold, the hammering jewelry method, which is practically a trademark of the Labrasseuse brand, creates a beautiful contrast with the azure of the renowned checkerboard dial. The color of one's gaze affects the spirit. Only the blue spirit, which has drawn its azure from the waves and space, carries dreams. Guy de Maupassant, a French author who lived from 1850 to 1893, penned this beautiful remark that sums precisely how you feel when you see the brand new Royal Oak Frosted Gold watch. The watch by Audemars Piguet, with its silhouette, alternating polished and hammered surfaces in the age-old manner brought up to date by Carolina Bucci, is in fact as enthralling as it is fascinating. 
She is the jewelry designer who has been working with the Le Bras Sous brand since 2016, and she has made this extremely distinctive piece of the material, as well as its bluish, luminous dial, a signature in its own right. The Caliber 5800, a mechanical self-winding movement with a typical 4 Hz frequency, is housed in a white gold case that is 34 mm in diameter and 8 mm thick. The fundamental units of time, such as the hours, minutes, seconds, and calendar, driven by this movement, which has a 50-hour power reserve. Number 6. Code 11.59 Self-Winding Chronograph. With a brand new line that took seven years to develop, Audemars Piguet continues to reinvent itself. A thin, round bezel on top of a gently octagonal case burned, open-worked lugs, a lacquered dial beneath a sapphire crystal with a double curve, and a new design direction are the first things that set code 11.59 apart. Code 11.59, which features the company's first in-house integrated column wheel chronograph movement, is another excellent illustration of the brand's watchmaking prowess. The flyback function allows the user to record sequential intervals without having to stop and reset the chronograph hand each time, in addition to the conventional chronograph indications and a date display. Precision, dependability, and functionality are combined and displayed in pink gold against a black lacquered dial. Number 5. Royal Oak Offshore Self-Winding Flying Tourbillon Chronograph. The Royal Oak Offshore collection from Audemars Piguet adds a fresh complexity. This automatic watch, which was created in a 100-piece limited edition, features a flying tourbillon and a flyback chronograph inside a modified titanium casing. The movement, caliber 2967, which is visible through the open-work dial, was first observed in the code 11.59 series. All of the Royal Oak Offshore's distinguishing features are there in this 43mm diameter rendition, which paves the way for a new generation. The screw-locked crown and chronograph pushes in black ceramic, a subtle tribute to the movement's black and grey tones, are water-resistant to 100 meters. It benefits from the innovative replaceable strap mechanism, just like the newest Royal Oak models do. Number 4. Code 11.59 Perpetual Calendar. The shape is modeled from the well-known octagonal case created by Gerald Genta in 1972. A circular, extra-slim bezel and a sapphire transparent case back surround this geometric design. Round lines are created by the open-work horns to complement the wrist. The 41mm wide case's polished and glossy surfaces capture the light in a lovely way. On the dial of the code 11.59 perpetual calendar, light also abounds. The time components are placed against a midnight blue adventure in decorated background. The day, date, and month are displayed by three tiny hands on the same number of sub-dials. At 6 o'clock, a lifelike replica of the moon that displays the moon phases are kept. Last but not least, a chapter ring with a white hand to denote the week number surrounds the dial. The caliber 5134, which has been used in Royal Oak watches with the same complexities since 2015, powers the model. You will only need to refresh the astronomical data once every 122 years and 108 days with this self-winding movement. Additionally, it provides the watch with a 40-hour power reserve. The code 11.59 perpetual calendar is a classy timepiece with a rose gold case and a strap made of blue alligator leather. Number 3. Millenary 4101. The stainless steel case of the Millenary 4101 watch has an oval, highly polished bezel, unlike Royal Oak versions, which have an octagonal bezel. This watch has been placed on the list despite not being a part of the Royal Oak collection because of its unique dial design. In 1995, the Audemars Piguet Millenary made its debut. All current limited edition models of this watch have an unusual balance wheel and an off-center dial. It also has a Roman numeral dial with rose gold hands that is anthracite in color. The 7 and 8 markers also have a black second dial affixed to them. This watch has a strong sapphire crystal to ensure its wearer has a fantastic ultra-luxurious experience. 
In the meantime, the movement's Geneva Stripes finish includes perlage on the movement's back in addition to the visual splendors of the caliber 4101 that is installed. Number 2. Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar. The Perpetual Calendar is deeply ingrained in Audemars Piguet's history. It serves as a reminder that astronomy and naturally occurring cycles are the source of all time measurement. In 1955, Audemars Piguet unveiled a perpetual calendar wristwatch with the crucial leap year indication. There were only nine of these watches produced, and they were all fashioned of 18 karat yellow gold. Since that time, Audemars Piguet has introduced numerous other perpetual calendar wristwatches, the most recent of which is the 2016 Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar, which combines yellow gold, the famous Gerald Genta design, and the most classic watchmaking complication. Today, Audemars Piguet adds a fully black edition of its Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar series, constructed of hand-finished black ceramic. On the Grande Tapisserie, adorned dial, the day, date, month, astronomical moon, week of the year, and the crucial leap year indication are prominently shown. The self-winding watch bigger caliber 5134 is completely visible through the glare-proofed sapphire crystal case back, which is housed in an assertively proportioned 41mm case. Black ceramic is difficult to master but essentially unscratchable, it can sustain high temperatures and thermal shocks and is hence very age-resistant. To produce a consistent, compact, and extremely hard material that can be machined and hand-finished, numerous operations requiring a great deal of skill and patience are necessary. In order to create this new wristwatch, Audemars Piguet's experts had to put in more than 600 hours of research, while it only takes 6 hours to machine, polish, and finish, assemble, and control a stainless steel royal oak bracelet, it takes 30 hours to complete these same tasks for a black ceramic bracelet, which is five times longer. Slate grey with black counters and a grande tapisserie pattern, the dial contrasts the piece's all-black design with a photorealistic representation of the moon. Last but not least, Royal Oak Jumbo Extra Thin. This dedicated Royal Oak Jumbo Extra Thin is the last unique 15202 and the last unique piece powered by Calibre 2121, the thinnest automatic movement with central rotor and date indication of its time, first introduced on the Royal Oak in 1972. Heralding a new era, the case and bracelet combined sandblasted titanium with polished bulk metallic glass are first at Audemars Piguet. When cooled rapidly, this palladium-based alloy shares several characteristics with other glasses, including amorphicity, transparency, and high strength, making it highly resistant to wear and corrosion. Its non-crystalline nature results in a unique play of light. While offering new grey hues, the petite tapisserie dial has retained the original Royal Oaks typography for the signature and monogram as introduced in 1972 with the 5402A series. The original printed denomination, Swiss, has also been kept under the hour marker at 6 o'clock. And that's my top 10 AP timepieces list. If you enjoy the video, like and subscribe to see more of these types of video. Tell me which of these timepieces blew your mind? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant day ahead.